Hey y'all, we are back. Jesse Bozeman, 19 Toll. We're going to continue our expert playthrough on my Who's account. And we're on hole 4 now. So this video will contain holes 4, 5, and 6. And we're going to try the Sniper Rough Bump. Uh, the shot we used last time we had this hole in the tournament. Uh, we will be changing our shot a little bit. Instead of 1 down and 4 left, we're going to go uh, 0.5 down and 4 left. Yeah, a little bit different of a wind, headwind, on this um, this round of the tournament. So we had more of a tailwind last time. So we'll go with a 0.5, basically a half a bar of backspin on this shot. So here we go. We're also going to use a um, turkey ball for a uh, to reduce that wind a good amount and hopefully we're in medium adjustment range that's where I hope we're at so 5-1 so f oh, we can't go with that ball crap let's go with the uh, season 2 ball can't go with that ball let's go with the uh, season 3 ball or left one half backspin. I'm going to come in from behind the hole, it looks like here. And we'll go 4.6 adjustment. Let's see what this does. Hit it perfect. And. Ooh. Not a bad shot right there. I, I almost want to say that we should leave that. Um, we should go with no, like no top, no backspin at all, and just regular spin, almost on that shot. I think if we hadn't had that one uh, half bar of backspin on that shot, we may have gotten the ace there. So that is something to to consider thinking about and trying next time we have this hole, maybe on the main account. But uh, yeah, you definitely got to make sure that you take a wind resistance ball with some side spin. So we were quite fortunate there to be able to uh, quickly find a solution. But yeah, we went 4 left and 0.5 back. So I think next time we will try a no back spin and just a 4 left spin in that same type of shot. All right, we'll put this one in. Easy birdie putt. And then we will move on to our next hole so we'll see you all in just a moment all right we got hole number five here par four and you can play this one right of the tree or left of the tree we have an apocalypse four here and I'm planning to play it left of the tree we'll make that final decision here once we get ready to line up our shot 8.2 wind we do play 10 percent and we will play this one left of the tree. Uh, we'll play this at um, about four right spin and three and a half top spin, something like that. And we have, yeah, about max adjustment there. So we want to land somewhere in it there. So. Something like that. What we did is we had measured out to our spot and then we pulled back our five and five point six um, rings of adjustment for the shot, and that's the way that we we lined that shot up. So if you see, you were wondering what I did. I pulled in my shot, uh, pulled up, pushed up my shot to where I wanted it to land, and then I pulled it back uh, for adjustment for the wind so that it would land where I wanted it to land because I know with a max adjustment is 5.6 rings so wherever my my end spot is where I finally leave my my guideline uh, it'll end up 5.6 rings from that spot so it through all right he's okay all right so for this shot here we're gonna be going with um, thorn it's 
7.6. So let's see what kind of adjustment we got here. It's min, max, so about mid. Now, let's stop between min, about min and mid actually. We're gonna go with a shot, right, like this. Okay. Shoot, seven six. We're gonna go two point six adjustment here. Ah, uh, great to the right. So we missed this one, or we didn't. <laughs> We'll take the eagle. We'll take the eagle. So we missed it great right. So that means that means my adjustment between mid and min was incorrect. And I probably should have just played a straight up mid adjustment shot. Oh, was that 7.6? So yeah. So instead of the 2.6, the 3.1 would have been dead on the money. So the golf gods smiled nicely on us on that hole. They said, this poor guy played the wrong adjustment. Let's make him hit a great right and correct it for him. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll see you all on the next hole. Get that eagle, baby. There's a drop. All right, so we're back. Hole number six. Uh, this will be our last hole on this video of three. And we got the apocalypse and the big dog in for this shot. And we're playing a plus 20% adjustment for this downhill shot. So y'all remember that. We will be playing also a max adjustment. I like to have the red edge of my my got my uh, right rings jip there right along the top of that. Um, so max top spin and some right spin. We'll go four rings of right spin. And now we've got to adjust for our our win six rings. Right there, six rings. We hit great left. That's okay. Great left is okay. Great right's not okay, though. And that rolls up there and is fine. You know, with an apocalypse for a great right's probably okay as well. Uh, as long as you do line up that shot down the middle of the fairway. We'll be right back. So we are back for our second shot here. 8.1 so we got three rings to work with on this shot and as you see we are we are well where we want to be so full back and full left and we'll go with three back spin so one and a half takes us right there so I'm right there, you know, just a regular shot right here. Ah, uh, we hit great left. Still be okay, but not uh, not having a chance for the uh, the eagle. I mean the albatross, but we'll be in good position for the eagle. Would have been would have been nice to see a perfect right there. We'll be right back. All right, we're back for our putt. Kind of over that ridge, make sure your ball guy goes through the hole and drop the eagle. We'll see you all uh, on the next uh, video.